but you got them a gift, whether it was this year or another year, that you know you nailed it. It was an absolute love, and I love when that finally happens to me. And then I think I'll pop it and my father and father-in-law are both very hard to shop for, but last year, I knew exactly what me and my father-in-law. I was so excited to give it to them because I knew you were going to Hey, guys. He was a national champion in 2020. How's it going? today to get her and uh, get her over to her appointment and hopefully they'll be able to give her something maybe a little more I know she doesn't want to be on oxygen because I mean who does right uh, but she still smokes cancer both lungs and her jaw and she still smokes so. yeah she does chemo she's had she had she just had her third round um, this past Saturday um, she had an ER visit because every time she went to sit up she said it felt like something was just cutting off her breathing, like, completely. Um, so she would, you know, understandably, you know, try to catch her breath. And, um, like I was telling doctors, it almost looked like a panic attack, you know, just trying for her to breathe. Um, but that's not obviously what it was. So it was just her trying to breathe. So I ended up calling because we were on our way to her doctor's appointment Friday and we were on, whew, on our way to her chemo. I was trying to help get her dressed, you know, and get her moving and wasn't happening. So um, I ended up calling the squad. They came out and got her, took her over to the hospital where she has all her stuff done and after seven seven to eight hours of being um, in the ER in the hallway of the ER that's how busy they was um, a cancer patient on chemo that shouldn't be around sick people or anything like that they put her in the hallway um after telling two doctors, after they did imaging and everything, two doctors told us that they wanted to go in and remove either completely or a lot of the mass to help open up her airway. And we were down for that. We're like, do it right now. Let's find a scalpel, cut it open, get it out. You know, like, let's just, let's do this shit. That's what we need. Well, after like another three and a half hours of waiting, we finally get moved other side of the ER, like where the rooms are, uh, you know, just the curtain with the room, um, we were joking about it, and I told her, I was like, it's like they put you in a storage room, because it was just, 
you can tell like it's probably just one of the rooms that they don't really use a lot or, or whatever maybe it's like a folding room until you actually get a room that kind of thing so we waited there for probably another two hours um, and then finally the oncology guys from across the street came over <sighs> sorry guys um, they came over and they just flat told us like no she's not we're not going to go in and take that mass off that, that's lymph nodes you know that's all that, that's, we can't do that that would be very bad and I'm like well you need to tell the ER staff that because they came back and said that they were going to go in and, and remove that and I just I wasn't having it I was already irritated aggravated I was ready to just they fuck it all. So, anyway, so I was listening to what the doc was saying and stuff, and what he was saying versus what we've already heard and stuff wasn't even matching up. Like, we've heard so many different stories for reasonings that it just really just pissed all of us off. Like, at this point, we're just done, and we'll just go home, right? So, um, in the middle of the ER, right, uh, my mom was like, you know, we've been, we've been asking for two weeks what this is, talking about her jaw, because we know she's got lung cancer, but she did, they had to do two biopsies to confirm what this is, they, they still don't know, so, um, they, you know, mom was like, I've been asking for two weeks what this is in my jaw and I want to know what stage I'm in. She doesn't want to know the end date, you know, she doesn't want to know when she's apparently, you know, supposedly going to expire. Um, she doesn't want to know that, which I don't think I would want to either, which is my thing. Um, and he flat out, you know, like, we assumed that we were going to have a doctor's appointment, go into a room, you know, closed door, not a bunch of freaking interns just hanging around, not a bunch of babies just like, oh yeah, just, just follow the doctor around, you know, whatever. It just, it really irritated me. But, um, he's like, oh yeah, he's like, you got stage four lung cancer, stage four, uh, I think he said non-cell something something. I, I don't know. I can't. I'll have to get the official name from them. I'll have to have them write it down. Um, that's in the jaw. Um, and uh, like all over stage four lung cancer. And I'm now you got me pissed, right? Because I just. How are you going to just blurt out in front of literally everybody? Sure, we're in this room, but I much rather, like when we go to her doctor's appointment or something, they're like, look, Joya, you've got stage four lung cancer, it's called this, you know, we can do this, this, and this, or we'll just continue doing chemo and see how it goes. Now we have a name, you know, with a face kind of thing, let's get this shit done. That's not how it happened. They told us that my mom had stage four lung cancer in the middle of the ER while she was having breathing issues. Yeah. I'm going on a ramp, so that's why I was... Surprisingly not very busy out here, thank God. I need to get to my mom's to get her ready to go to her appointment.
corner, the, like in the back corner. So I always like to raise up and actually look because although my car, I have a 2016 Porsche Cayenne. Absolutely love it. Phenomenal car. Even being used, it's new to me. I don't give a crap. You know, whatever. But I absolutely love it. So the mirrors would tell me if somebody was over there. And it's not. Like, you know, it's not on. But I always like to double check I've always had cars that never told me shit. They just told me the radio station or how much gas to put in or, you know, whatever. Um, basic information. So it's just, I always like to be precautious. You've got a right turn signal on, but you're turning it left. Cool, bro. stressful uh, but they they actually take care of their employees um, I'm on FMLA because you know obviously my mom I'm helping her I would literally quit my job and become homeless just to help her like that is just how it is you know you don't you help your parents or your siblings your family before anything right and I would literally quit my job if they were like sorry you have to work and everything get her down the road you guys have a great day and I will probably just continue this after her appointment I'm gonna try to do a couple videos throughout the weekend try to get this channel ramped up and, and going all right I love you guys I'll see you here in a little bit bye
to my mom's doctor's appointment. And they, this is just her breathing doctor. just in that short time and today I knew she had lost weight because I'm not seeing any protein shakes being drained nothing like that today she weighed at the doctor's office and she was at 109 
understood how patients or their families are, how they would react to certain things. The guy that we seen today was phenomenal. He was understanding. He listened to my frustration when I told him that we felt we feel like we're getting the runaround because we're not getting any straight answers. And I knew that this wasn't like his part of the field um, because the part that is, you know, talking about the non or neck or diagnosis, things like that, that's just not his doctor's office. So I wasn't taking it out on him by any means, nothing like that. So, you know, I, I was totally, oh my God, it's so bright. I understood everything that he explained as best as he could. Holy hell, why is it so bright right here? It's literally, like, it's all dark. I don't know if you guys can tell in my sunroom. It's literally pitch black, pretty much. But there is one spot on this highway that is, like, the fucking sun is sitting on the, wow, there we go. Woo! Like the sun was sitting on the road and it was just like, I'm going to blind you today. So, have fun with that. Jesus, take the wheel. Not mind, I'm driving. Um, but anyway, so, it's just a really, it's just a shitty situation. I've never, my family has really shitty health. It is what it is. Um, my grandpa passed away from a couple of things, cancer, things like that. My grandma passed away from cancer, but we never really got like a, an official name, I guess. Or I was still like in my teen years, so maybe they said it and I just didn't retain it. I don't know. Um, but then my aunt passed away two weeks after my grandma did because she had brain cancer. Um, she was diagnosed in March, passed away in October of 2008. It was very fast. Um, my mom, stage four lung cancer. I mean, given 2008 to 2022, it's a good span of not having family members die, but I'm not ready for it to be my own mom. I'm not ready. And I hope that she continues to do chemo. If they could do radiation, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't know what radiation does for a person. Honestly, I think it like starts zapping the cancerous cells. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked it up and nobody's really even talked about it. So I don't know. Um, I guess I'll get behind this guy. I don't really want to, but whatever. So I'm going to look into it and just see why radiation's not been brought up because she's done three rounds of chemo. And they did say when she was in the ER last weekend that they could tell in there that they the cancer cells are dying off, but it looks like it's getting bigger. So I'm not sure if maybe at some point if they'll just go in and let that drain, get all the nasty stuff out of there, you know, the dead stuff, or or not. You know, like what are they just gonna like leave it in our body and hope for the best? Like I don't I don't know. Or if the body just reabsorbs it and like disposes of it appropriately. I don't know. Do they have like a little hazmat suit in there? Anyways, it's just me talking out loud, just trying to. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't. My brain is exhausted. I am. I'm. I'm fried. But that's okay. It's okay. 
so um play some VR so I got my husband I, I don't know if you guys looked at the previous video or not my husband or I got my husband oculus quest 2 a VR headset and wow my face looks really fat in here anyways whatever um, I think it's how I'm sitting and my phone is really low whatever so I got him Quest 2, and um, it's awesome. Beat Saber is a freaking workout. Um, I like to die every time I play it, but it makes me feel good. And I sleep better, so that's a plus. Um, I told him that I was going to cancel my gym membership because we haven't been to the gym in like, I don't know, a year and a half. Um, maybe two. Maybe two years. But we were going to cancel a gym membership and just put that money monthly into Quest 2 for games to keep us active. And he said, okay. Um, I'm about to pick up some food at Wendy's. I just, I need a baked potato with chili on it. It's kind of my comfort food. Ever since I got on my weight loss journey, and I'll share that in a different video because this is not appropriate but I just I don't really have an appetite for much of anything except for Taco Bell that did not go away um so my husband's homesick I asked him I'm like do you want Wendy's maybe like a large chili or something and he's like yeah that sounds good so that's where I'm at Wendy's oh there's the front door anyways so I already put a list list. I already put an order in. I just gotta roll up and pick it up. So, meanwhile, let me see if I can fix these. Uh, nope. Okay. Let's not break shit. So, that'd be great. I don't really know the point of this video. I guess just so that I can ramble to myself because not a lot of people, if anybody really sees my videos, and this is not going to be one that I probably share on Facebook. I mean, like the VR stuff, things like that. It's hilarious. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. But I think I am going to post this to YouTube, my YouTube channel. Um, I guess if you're seeing this, I already did. So there you go. Got that going for us. Pretty sure that this lady is admiring my hair in the front of me. In the front of me? No. Uh, in the car in front of me. Um, she's just staring. Which, you know, teach their own. I wish I did something with my eyebrows. I don't do anything with my eyebrows. Okay, now I'm rambling, so I'm gonna go. Uh, this line does take forever. This is probably one of the slowest Wendy's around. But, to their defense, they don't really have that much staff. Which is why I like coming here. Because the people that do show up to work make amazing food. So, thank you if you go to work. If you show up, you do your damn thing. You get shit done. Thank you. Even if you're not where I'm at. If you're in California. Or if you're in Florida. If you're in Maine, let me know because I'm obsessed with Maine. I love lighthouses and trees and water and lighthouses. And I really want to take a vacation to Maine. So let me know in the comments. If you're from Maine, let me know what area. Not like your house address. No, I'm not me and weird. I'm just saying like Portland or, you know, whatever. Um, Port, Port, Port Smith, whatever. Um... Yeah, so, let me know. I will, I'm gonna go, because this is now getting to the point where I'm probably gonna edit this whole part out. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I might make another video tonight because I kind of like this. Probably do a VR because it's hilarious, and I need to laugh. But, we'll 
we'll see. Especially since my husband doesn't feel good, so... Yeah, we'll see. I love you guys. Bye.